Hey, it's the third district. Hmm, fighting alone isn't as easy as I thought. It's it's interesting, Harps. Um but I get the concept of it. Um or the the general concept of it. It's like keeping an eye in the bottom corner on like the cards to like see whether or not I've running out of cards or if I'm coming up to like an item card or something else and just being aware more aware of that I think at the moment um I mean ultimately it's just an in to me I, I find it like an interesting take on the combat system um fully understand like every, all the ins and outs of it at the moment but I'm I'm hopeful that I'll be able to get my head around it in this playthrough fingers crossed but I can say I can like I kind of said at the top I can really kind of understand why there's maybe mixed feelings about this game and why some people don't like it and some people do like it but um uh, so far it's not too bad just just learning the ropes learning the ropes ah pop out of nowhere like that hey it's not our fault we don't know what's going on I like Ludo Ludo things keep getting stranger what's Pluto doing here there's nothing strange about that we came to Traverse Town with Pluto didn't we did we I like so what, I, what I'm getting so far from the story is like um the castle that we're in is um basically a place of our memories and as we visit different different places we see and interact with the things that we previously did when we visited before however it's all kind of fictional so i think it's it's a way of being able to like uh, see and talk to people who aren't with us now but were with us in the past kind of thing which is interesting oh wait according to my journal it was before you met sora that you came to town with pluto he's right we were chasing after pluto and that's how we end up in castle oblivion but aren't we in travis town well it's not really travis town i think the cards created this travis town inside castle oblivion ah who cares about all that it's too confusing well at least the characters agree <laughs> i don't know where we are but let's just keep moving forward defeating heartless we'll get somewhere Better be careful, or it's heartless that they're going to defeat you. Leon. Leon, it's you. What are you doing in Castle Oblivion? Castle Oblivion? What are you talking about? <laughs> Abundance of belts anywhere. This is Travis Town. How do you know my name? Who are you? I never met the likes of you before. We're playing, Leon. We fought the Heartless together. You know that. Look, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't even know your names. You don't? Sorry. I can't believe it. How can you have forgotten about us? feel for you but you've got the wrong guy happens all the time don't take it personally so Sora didn't you just say you didn't know the names do know his name now now hold on why do I know your names I think Leon's just kidding around if he is it's not funny Sora's really upset Who's kidding around, Goofy? You and Donald are the ones who... Hey! 
don't get it. Something's wrong with my memory. What's happening here? I don't know, Leon. Maybe Aerith was onto something after all. She said she sensed some sort of, some uncanny kind of power. And asked us not to look into it. Well, this is as uncanny as it gets. Maybe you should take Sora to see Aerith. Yuffie, you know my name? Yep, looks like you know me, mine too. You know him? Nope, tell stranger. I definitely know his name. Strange, yes, but convenient. We can skip the introductions. Is it that you can accept the situation so easily? I don't get you. Well, I'm going to run ahead and fill Aerith in. Leon, you give them the grand tour. See you later. Are you going to Merlin's house? I guess there's no use pondering over it. Come on, follow me. There are heartless wandering around town. They better teach you how to protect yourself in battle. Okay. See the numbers printed on your cards. The range from 0 to 9, high number means stronger cards. If you and your enemy both play a card at the same time, the higher card wins. Okay. Go on, try it out. See how it works? Play a card higher than your opponents and breaking through their defense is called a card break. Playing a lower card results in your attack being deflected. Even powerful cards can be deflected if enemy's card is higher. Whoever's on the losing side of a break is left wide open to attacks. Don't let that person be you. Cards are zero as their value are special. No matter what card the enemy plays, you can break it with zero card. But if you play the zero card too soon, the enemy can break it with any card they play. In other words, it's the most powerful card if it comes if it comes last, and useless if it comes first. Try to make the most of it. Card values also affect the cost of assembling a deck. Keep that in mind. Now it's time to teach you how to stock cards. You don't have to use battle cards one at a time. You can also assemble three cards and use them all at once. This is called stocking. Stocking cards and using them in threes is much stronger than using cards individually. Go on, give it a try. Stock any three cards in your deck. Some of your three stock cards become the value of you play. The value is likely high, high and hard to break, and the combo attack deals a lot of damage. Don't hold back, show me what you can do. Okay, that's why the sliding dash wasn't working before. Combo attacks aren't the only benefit for stocking cards. Choose your cards carefully and you can unleash special abilities called slides. Slides come in all varied varieties and each has its own unique card combination. Just try it out once you've collected more cards and learn the slide or two. Okay, keep one thing in mind. Every time you use stock cards, you lose the first card you picked. You can't reload it. Ha! Ah. The last card won't return until the end of a battle. Relying only on slights will cause your cards to run out. And that means trouble. Okay, so it's kind of like a way to um, stop you just from spamming slides. It's interesting. So I guess if we're gonna like build, I guess if we're gonna build like slights, we probably want to start with like the lowest card because then that one will get discarded first. Um, kind of answer my question. We want to ask anyway. What do you think? There's a role of combining all these characters together, how they play together. I think it's quite interesting how they've, um, how like they, they wrote the story and how they've kind of like brought in different aspects of the Disney IP. Um, it's quite interesting, I found from the first game, like being somebody who didn't really know a lot of the Disney stories, it's quite interesting like, to see how they play out in their own worlds. and. A lot of the first game it was still i believe it was still quite true to like their original films and things so i think the way they merged it together was really interesting and they did um did a really good job of it if i'm honest um 
And I, just, I still find it like an interesting concept, like to see like Disney characters with um, characters from another franchise and then original characters all plonked together. And I'm quite interested to see kind of like which of their um, movies and IPs are brought into like the, the subsequent games. So, um, yeah, I, I think it's it's um, I think it plays together really well in my opinion. So, um, certainly adds that like interesting element to it. Like I say, you, you've got like the the historical part from the, the Disney IPs with the originality of the actual story that they're trying to portray here. So yeah, I think it's done pretty well. That wasn't awful. Think you got the hang of it, Sora? Yeah, more or less. I'll pick up the rest when I fight some real battles. Yeah, I found this lying around. You take it. Remember what I told you and make good use of it. Finally on. Simba! Ah, Savanya! Key of Guidance. Right, so that's another door that we can unlock, I guess. Right, let's take a look at the world map here. Okay, so we're back. Okay, so it throws us back here. This is interesting. So we can now go through this door here. Not sure what our uh, removal points are for and what they're going to do. Another interesting aspect to watch out for. You've forgotten me too. I don't know whether to say nice to meet you or good to see you again. I don't think I know you, but I still feel like you belong here. Yeah, exactly. Like, we've never met, but it still doesn't feel weird knowing your name. I'm telling you, we have met. We took out on the Heartless together. We were a team. It feels like you're right, but I can't remember. And I guess you won't remember what you told me. In Hollow Bastion, when I sealed the keyhole. We may never meet again, but we'll never forget each other. See, you do remember. He's right, Leon. I remember you saying that too. I guess I can't write it off as a coincidence then. I don't have any memory of it, but somehow I still remember. I think your heart is doing the remembering for us. My heart? We don't know you, Sora, but your heart is full of memories of us together. Those memories must resonate in our hearts too. Maybe they tell us things we couldn't otherwise know. So you're saying that Sora's memories are affecting ours. His memories do seem to have a certain power. Maybe it's like the guy said then. This town is just an illusion, something my memories created. And there's someone special to you in this town? How did you... Ah, I get it. My memories are resonating with yours, telling you what happened. Yeah, a friend of mine is somewhere in this town. I mean, Castle Oblivion. Castle Oblivion? What's that? There aren't any castles in here. That's not quite what I mean. You're still not sure what's going on yourself, right? Right, we just got here after all. I want to take a better look around. Go and have a walk around town. There are heartless, but there's no problem for you. But that's no problem for you. So you know I can fight. I can't say I know, but I feel like believing you. Let's leave it at that. Heed to the truth. Okay, so interestingly, like, I think what's... If my understanding of this is, like, correct... Um... What's kind of happening is um, the castle is making this all an illusion um, based on our memories. 
we're seeing the people that we previously met in our memories, but our the their how would you say it? Like not their presence, but their the version of the, our the people we know don't technically know us, but because of our memories in our heart, they're kind of being because about the memories in our heart they are being um like given memories from us and that's how they can kind of sort of remember i think um did i, did I waffle my way through that all right is that good enough explanation does anybody want to give me a, a a yay or a your miles off knock <laughs> Yeah. And if you don't want to listen to the waffle, yeah, just look at Hypes' um, summarization of everything I just said right there. Of course, not to be confused with something, something dark side. E2 True. Sid. Well, what do you know? It's Sora. Wait, what am I saying? I don't know you. But you do look like a Sora. What's with that spiky hair and baggy pants? Okay, Sid, that's my name. So, you've heard of me, eh? Well, I can't say it's... I'm surprised. Anyway, maybe you can help me out. A friend of mine's supposed to be somewhere in this castle, uh, town. Got any ideas? Your friend, huh? Lately all this town sees is heartless. Can't even take two steps without getting attacked. In fact, this plaza's the worst. Word is, a jumbo-sized heartless shows up when the bell rings. If you your hide, you'll get out of here while, it's get while the getting's good. Where Sid walks. Gosh, maybe we should leave. Don't you want to see the Heartless? No, we don't. Oh, looks like we ain't got a choice. Bell. Careful, Sora. What if the game is telling that all the Disney characters are actually in the same world, but in this game they meet up with each other? But the the premise from like the original, like all the different worlds, uh, Perfurious, are that like all the worlds are separated by um, impassable barriers in the original one. So I don't think like they they could be like all in the same world. They are all their own like entities and they exist in their own space. So, um, yeah, I don't think, um, they're, they're definitely not in the same world. Well, the whole gist is that he's going through the castle, apparently made out of his own memory to try and find Riku and Mickey, who he feels are here. Oh, not this guy again. Oh, my 
Zero card. And this is um, certainly interesting, this battle. that Mickey card does, to be honest. To, like do some big damage. That's what I'm bothered about. the idea like the card breaking and stuff which is good well we got down uh, took down our first boss I kind of like noticed halfway through that fight was about like actually paying more attention to the card that they're about to play in the middle of the screen um, and then just cancelling and breaking their card so yeah that definitely like helped um, and was definitely worth the observation on that um, I'll just catch up on chat a minute got the original PS2 because well, the, the boss had the original colours you know uh, Inking of one, you hear the story from Kari's grandma about how all the worlds used to be connected, and then there was a man of great. There was a great event that split them all apart. Ah, interesting. I remember. Well, I never played the original Kingdom Hearts. Well, I played the first 
quite a bit of the original, but not much. I don't think I got that far in the original on the PS2, because I originally started playing the PS2 version before I then invested in all the PS4 versions. So um, yeah, my very first stream was the PS2 version, but I didn't get, I only got to Traverse Town, I think, and a little bit more, I didn't get like to boss fights and things, so I wouldn't know that. So your friend wasn't here. No, I don't think I'll find him in this town. But he's somewhere in this castle, I just know it. Castle? Like this whole town's inside some humongous castle? Oh, that's rich. It's probably right, Sid. We might not understand what's going on, but Sora does. He can see that that reality is bigger than just this world. I wish, wish I was that sure. You'll be okay, Sora. No matter what shape reality takes, you can handle it. I may not remember you, but I know you in my heart. Leon. Take care, Sora. A little lost, but best of luck anyway. Love Sid. What's up? I don't have all the answers, but I had something. I had to tell you something. Your memories created this town, right? That's what the guy who gave me the card said. If that's true, then this town is just a figment of your mind, and so are we. But you can't be a figment. You're standing right here. This town is here too. I'm not really me. I don't remember the things I should. I sense things I shouldn't. Sora, beware of your memories. In the journey to come, you'll be faced with more illusions. Sometimes the shadows of your memory will deceive you, try to lead you astray. So, uh, what exactly does that mean? I'm sorry. I'm just another illusion. The truth is out of my reach. Don't say stuff like that. It's depressing. Stay strong, Sora. Don't let illusions distract you from what's truly important. Okay. Sora! Are you ready to go? Yeah, be right there. There, it's gone, right? Well, I better be going. Yeah, of course she's gone. Aerith? Aerith! What about Aerith? Where did you go? I was just talking to her. Aerith left with Leon and the others, remember? Huh? You worried as just standing there by yourself? This is what she meant. Bum bum bum. All right, well, let's have a look at the world map again. It's fine, Mick. Hey, it's fine, Ferris. Don't worry about it. Oh, good. Go this way. Mm, level two card. Majority of us in the chat at the minute are you. I, mean, I can't speak for hypes. Uh, and Death Wish isn't here. Death Wish is American. But uh, I know Mika is definitely EU. Yes. Yes. 
we go. The German. I think I've, uh, I'm not sure I've had any German viewers before. Or like, uh, yeah, I don't think I have. So you may be the first. I don't know what the old um I don't know what the old uh, Moogle points are doing in this, so it's a little bit of an enigma. What's going on, Doctress? Good to see you, how you doing? I'm good, thanks, Doctress. How are you? How's your uh, week been? Graduation, Mika, uh, Papyrus. I got that, I guess. You know what? I honestly thought I'd got better at that, so I do apologize, Papyrus. I thought I'd broke the habit. Save point. Save point. I even see the Gran Turismo movie. Nice.
sure to hit all of the um, scenery and everything in this game because it seems like cards and um, HP and like move all points are essentially hidden. So. Back in the hallway. Interesting. Well, Sora, did you enjoy meeting your memories? Yeah, it was good to see everyone. But what do you really want from me? What do you have to give? Hello. <laughs> what do you want? No hog in the hero. Then perhaps you'd like to test him. Perhaps I would. My show now, Keyblade Master. Who am I? Oh, my name's Axel. Got it memorized? Uh, sure. Good. You're a quick learner. So, Sora, now that we're getting to know each other better... Don't you go off and die on me now. Boss fight? Okay. We played Mal a couple of weeks ago. Oh, I know this tune. Wow. Oh my goodness me, what is going on? Am I not meant to like win this fight or something? Because this is just ridiculous. I'd almost like got him dead a minute ago and now he seems to have a lot more health again. Oh, 
Oh, I think you've got like multiple health, but I think the health gates would probably work different in this game looking at it. Okay, well, I mean, yeah, I, I think I noticed that halfway through, Hives, but okay, that was, I almost thought I was getting absolutely destroyed there. That was pretty intense. Not gonna lie. Fire. Da -da -da. Gun impact. How's this one work? So the total value needs to be 20 to 23. And stun surrounding enemies with a single attack. Three attack cards of the same type. Yep. Another one? What's it do? Hmm. Kind of looks like the card you used when you made Travers Town. Then I guess we're going to need it to keep going. That's right. <laughs> Action! Did you really think after that introduction I would give up oh so easily? You were testing us. And you passed. Congratulations, Sora. You're ready now. Ready to take on Castle Oblivion. You will need to follow your memories. Trust what you remember and seek, but you forget. Then you will find someone very special. You mean King Mickey and Riku? <laughs> you will just have to give some more thought to who it is that's most important to you. Why are they not thinking like Kyrie? Our most precious memories lie so deep within our hearts that they're out of reach. But I'm sure that you can find yours, Sora. Why me? You have lost sight of the light within the darkness, and it seems that you've forgotten that you forgot. The light within darkness? Would you like me to give you a hint? Sora, do you need it? I'm gonna figure it out for myself. If you're in my way... Don't worry, Sora. We'll protect you. <laughs> Good answer. Just what I'd expect from the Keyblade Master. But be forewarned. When your sleeping memories awaken, you may no longer be who you are now. All right, we got some new destination cards, five in total by the looks of it. Oh, she think there's more like Axel than that other guy? We meet Axel again, you can leave him to me. Hmm. Not sure I can. Moving to another floor erases all the rooms you've created. If you return to this floor later, you'll need to make new rooms using new map cards. Okay. Does this just take me back to Travis Town or it does? Alright. Let's save after that. Um short interlude.
room containing special treasure. I think we have that card though, do we? Okay. So... I guess... Slightly extends the range of attack cards, increases the strength of fire base abilities, increases the value of all cards by one. All right, Perferius, thanks for hanging as always. I appreciate it. Have a good one. And good luck with all your uh, projects that you've got going on. We've got no magic in our deck at all, have we? Novice deck builder. Obvious because we don't know what we're doing. Blizzard, okay. I'll do that because I did see somewhere that you can chain together three magics. I'm pretty sure. Unless that Mario deals damage to enemies in front of him. Okay, so I was wondering like how the points thing worked. So my CP is basically, okay, yeah, I, I, I kind of understanding a little bit more of this. So I can't add to, yeah, it's to stop you like making massively overpowered decks basically. So I'm currently like uh, 38 points over at the minute. And then here, as you can see, it tells you what each one is worth. So if I take out those two cards and then one in. So yeah, okay. I'm getting it. I'm, I'm getting there. Slowly but surely, we're getting there. Deck one, that's what we'll call it. Adventurous like that. Okay, so I guess we've got to climb the stairs. Uh, we don't have a choice here but to clear out.
the rooms below us. Let's see what we've got up here. Probably another room that looks exactly the same. Hmm. What's wrong, Jiminy? Well, you see, what Axel said back there worries me. What could he have meant by, you may no longer be who you are? I may no longer be me. How can I be anyone else? <laughs> of course. Still, you can't be too careful. Yep. Feels like just about anything could happen here in Castle Obliv-y, Obliv-y, Obliv-y. Castle Obliv-y. Oh, yeah. Now I remember. We'll be okay. Whatever it is they're cooking up, we'll be able to handle it together. Of course we will. Like that creepy castle we explored together. The one with all those weird contraptions. Mm. When was that? Uh, I can't remember. What was it called? Gorge. Oh, it was, uh... Holla, Holly, Holler. Sorry, I can't remember. What? Stop goofing around. Goofy, sure you didn't make it up? Oh, I don't think so. Interesting that they um, can't remember these things. Dwelling sphere in front of Sora is called a warp point. You can freely move to and from floors that you've already completed. Stand near it and press triangle to open the world map menu. Okay. Um, can they say, though, that by moving up the stairs, my previous world was like, erased and reset? Just see what happens when I walk there. I wonder if it's just like stairs that kind of reset. Or is the whole thing reset? Oh, it was the whole thing. The whole thing resets. Interesting. Okay. So, where do we want to go to next? I mean, do we continue playing out how we did in Kingdom Hearts 1? We'll be here all week, waiting for Goofy to remember. Alright, where do we go next? Agrabah, Olympics Coliseum, Wonderland, Monstro, or Halloween Town? I say we go Wonderland. Let's let's play it like we was playing Kingdom Hearts. One. Flip it's the best and we'll save the best till last types. <laughs> hey, someone's coming. I'm late, I'm late, and dreadfully, awfully late. The queen will roast me for dinner. If I'm late for the, my, the trial, it'll be off with my head next. What do you mean, off with your head? Oh, my fur and whiskers. I'll never make it. Off with his head? It's a peaceful looking place. It sounds pretty dangerous. of beginnings yeah so interestingly like seems like they just genuinely don't remember like any of the places we've been to before so it's not just like the memories which are 
um, kind of like struggling. It's also characters as well, so they've seriously lost their memories. Ikea beginnings, we go to first, so it's that direction, I believe. Try out this. Um, I don't know what I did there. What I was trying to do didn't work. Oh, you can escape battles. Interesting. Oh, and I lost the zero card, didn't I? Um, little guys are a bit annoying. The the big guys though, it's like seems quite difficult to be able to get behind them. See if I can like pull this off this time. Deal. Just rinse through everything there. I'm not really sure what happened. If I'm honest, not a lot. Like I wasted. Block my zero card. I just gotta keep looking at the numbers and like trying to play play cards like strategically I think is the way forward. Right. Or is it? Let's 
some of these like Alice in Wonderland like enemies already are like pretty interesting. Here we go again. See, the goofy cards are, like, pretty useless. I don't think they stack either. gotta kind of wait i think for them to like play a lower card at times interesting as well here all of the cards are kind of are locked off, which is interesting. Right, I guess gotta go... to do. Alright, we need a G card. Alright, play that and then our story card. Let's get a little bit more information. <laughs> 